Hello crafty llamas, in this video I'll be showing you how to purl through the back loop to create a smooth stockinette stitch. So this is for combination continental knitters like myself. And this is something that I had to learn through trial and error and kind of the hard way, to be honest. And I have vague memories of my mum trying to explain this to me when I was like 14 and knitting and not really understanding it. And it's only about, you know, 12 years later that I've really come to understand what she was going on about. So what I've got here is I've got two half knitted swatches one of which I've done if you um, knit and purl kind of in the standard manner as a continental knitter or a combination knitter. So I'm gonna have to zoom in on this swatch. So what you can see here is I've, um, I've literally just knitted one row and then I've purled back and I've just worked it flat. So as you can see here, the stitches, one is a V and then the next one up is kind of twisted. And this is what happens when you are a combination knitter and working flat. On your knit row, you don't twist the stitch because you go through the back loop. When you then go back and you purl across, you're then twisting the stitch. So what you then need to do essentially is untwist the stitch whilst you're doing it. And this is actually quite simple to do in that you purl through the back loop, which is what I'll be showing you today. And I've got another swatch for comparison that I'm just gonna bring in, see if I can get both on the screen at the same time, shall we? So here is the one, the other one, and you can see here that it's really, really smooth, it's really, really consistent, and it's not twisted. So let's get these together. So you can see here that it's kind of wibbly wobbly, whereas this is very, very straight. Um, not my neatest work, but you know, it does the job. Um, and so you can see the difference that I'm talking about in that these ones are twisted and these ones aren't. So the reason I've had to figure this out is because I started knitting my jumper in the round. And obviously when you're knitting in the round, um, you just keep going round and you don't have the need to turn your work. And then it got to the point of the, the, the armpit where I had to split off for the, um, for the arms. And I realized that um, a couple rows in, I was like, why are my stitches twisted all of a sudden? So what I then had to do was go back and try to figure out how to untwist my stitches. And there are two ways of doing this. So you can either slip your stitch off the needle and then slip it back on twisted, which takes forever, or you can just learn to purl through the back loop which I found a lot easier. And this works for ribbing as well, if you're ribbing flat, or anything that you do in flat if you're a combination knitter. Um, really, really important if you kind of want this effect, which a lot of knitted garments will have. If you're not too bothered and you don't mind the twisted effect, then go for it, just leave it like this. I've got a fair few garments like this um, that I've knitted flat that I've just kind of left, and I don't mind. Um, but for my jumper, because it started off like this, I wanted to keep it in this kind of smooth stockingette or the untwisted stockinette. So what I'm gonna be showing you is uh, what I mean by the two different ones. So I'm just gonna zoom out and show you how I do this. So now I'm zoomed out. So what I mean is if I was just doing this standard, let me show you. Also I've been testing out the Cubics, so these square needles. They're quite nice to work with actually. I wasn't sure how I'd feel about them, but they're quite nice. So on the kind of way back, if this is this is for the twisted effect, all you've got to do is obviously you just knit and purl like you would usually for continental knitting or combination knitting. So you just purl through the back loop here or through your front loop even, and you just purl across like so. And you know, that's all you've got to do. There's nothing different. That's what it is. And when obviously you knit, you knit through the back loop. So you purl through the front, knit through the back. Right, so obviously what I've just done there is I've just purled through the back as you would usually, and when you go back along, you just knit through the back loop as you would usually as a combination knitter, like so. And this is what I mean about you don't twist your stitches because you go through the back, like so, your, knit, your stitches don't twist. Whereas if you go through the front loop, like a continental knitter, what that does is that twists the, the knit stitch. 
So essentially, when you're purling on your way back, if you want a smooth stockinette rather than a twisted stockinette, it's, um, yeah, you've just got to untwist that stitch on your purl back or you've got to keep it untwisted more like. There we go. Right, I'm just gonna pop that to one side and I'm gonna show you how to get this kind of smooth stockinette look, which you would get in the round, but when you're knitting flat. So, obviously you would knit exactly like you would normally, and it's just getting used to purling through the back loop. It feels very unnatural at first, but I promise you, you do actually get used to it quite quickly. And so what you do for this is, um, I'm, gonna, I'm actually gonna zoom in again for this. To there, right. So what you're gonna do, obviously, here is your stitch. If you were to purl normally, you'd go through this front aspect of the, of the stitch. What we're going to do is, I just tend to use my finger just to push that stitch out a little bit and then you're going to go backwards so bringing the needle towards you like so through the back loop like that so you're not going to go between the stitch and the following one you want to catch that back leg like so and then you just yarn over and pull through like so like you would usually and once again, you just I just use my index finger just to push that stitch towards the tip and it just helps to give me that extra room to kind of pick up there. And then you can just do that. And what you'll find is it just untwists that stitch. There you go. And it really is that simple. So we'll just do that again nice and slowly for you because I do realize I tend to speed up quite a lot. So you, I'm just gonna use my index finger just to push it and then pick up here the back leg. And you're gonna go from back to front. And if you kind of look at it from the other way, what I'm essentially doing is I'm doing a continental knit stitch but I'm just doing it back to front. So it's just a purl through the back loop. But once again, this is a um, just another texture that you can create with knitting. And it's once you understand it, it's so simple and it really doesn't make that much difference when I'm kind of knitting in the evenings and stuff. It's now that I'm kind of used to that stitch, and don't get me wrong, it did take me a little while just to get used to going through the back loop. Um, you know, now I've got used to it, it feels quite natural. And as you can see, it just creates that really smooth um, knitted knitted stitch. So your stockinette is just extra smooth and straight. Whereas, let's bring this one in. There we go. So you can see just there, all twisted. Well, one is straight, the following one is twisted, then it's straight and then it's twisted. And it just carries on like that. So you can kind of see close up what I mean when I talk about twisted stitches versus that kind of smooth stockinette. And like I said, the only real reason that I ever kind of do this is um, jumpers and garments and stuff like that that I'm gonna wear a lot and where I've kind of started them flat. So that's it for this week's video where I've shown you how to purl through the back loop to get a smooth stockinette effect. If you have enjoyed this video or found it helpful, then please do let me know by liking and commenting below. Uh, we do have weekly videos, so please do subscribe to my channel. Our social media handle is Crafty Llama UK, so you can find us on various platforms using that. Please tag us if you attempt anything in this video or have used it in one of your projects. And of course, you can purchase all of the tools used in this video on our shop, which we will link below. That's it for this week's video, but I'll be back with you for another one next week. Bye.